What's happening guys? We are back for another uh, official Quick Tip Tuesday. So today we're talking about the solo button for your audio tracks. What is the solo button? Solo button allows you to hear just one particular track or you can hear multiple tracks, but you can select which ones you want to hear. You don't have to hear all of them at the same time. Let's jump in Resolve. I'll show you what I mean here. All right, here we are in Resolve. I got a, just a sample project up here. Now I've got several different audio tracks. I've got a speaking track of me on one, an ambience track on two, music on three, and then a couple sound effects tracks. So here's what that sounds like all mixed together. Now I haven't done anything to it and I want to isolate these tracks so I can work with them individually. But here's what it sounds like off the bat. So let's say you want to work on just one specific audio track. Well, instead of trying to do all of them, all right, nobody got hurt, no real accidents, it's all just sound effects. So if I wanna work on one particular channel, right here we have the solo button. So when you click on that button, you will only hear that particular channel. So I don't have to go through and mute all these different channels. I could just isolate this channel and work with just this one channel. So listen to this. Work on just one specific audio track. Well, instead of- So now we only hear that audio track. Why might you wanna do this? Let's say you're trying to work with some EQ, right? And you only wanna hear that one track of me speaking. So I can work with the EQ. Oh, by the way, I did put out some new EQ presets. If you're interested, I'll leave a link in the description below. You can check it out. But another cool feature, in addition to isolating one particular track, is that you can isolate multiple tracks. So if I want to hear, say, myself and the music track so that I can blend them together, I can select the solo button on both of those tracks. Make sure I've got them both highlighted here. And now when I play through, you're only going to hear me speaking along with the music track. I'm trying to mute all of them and kind of sort them out, that's where the solo button is gonna come in super handy. Maybe you got some vocals you wanna work on. So now I can work with just those two tracks to balance just those two tracks. So not only can you use the solo button right here in the edit tab, but if we jump over into Fairlight, double musical notes down here, click on that, you jump into Fairlight and along the side here for our audio tracks, we also have the S solo button. So that allows you again, do the exact same thing right here in Fairlight, which is where I'm generally gonna be doing soloing of different tracks and stuff so I can work with EQ, dynamics, effects, and just work a little more closely with each audio clip and the tools that are available here in Fairlight. And that is the solo button in a nutshell here. Guys, it's super convenient. I use it all the time when I'm working with my audio and trying to edit particular tracks. That way I don't get all muddied up with everything else going on in there. You can work with one track or, you know, a couple of them if you need to. And you don't have to go through and mute a whole bunch of other tracks and all that that you don't want to listen to. So that is it, guys. Thank you again for checking out this Quick Tip Tuesday. Hope you got a little value out of it. If you did, give it a thumbs up for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Peace.